Hi, I'm Kirsten Stoner, technologist at Veeam Software. Veeam One is a powerful monitoring and reporting tool that provides visibility into data protection and virtual environments. Today, I'm going to showcase just how you can use Veeam One to stay resilient with ransomware using its powerful alarms. Let's get started. When it comes to utilizing Veeam One's out-of-the-box alarms to help detect and respond to ransomware, there are three alarms that you should be looking at. The VM with no backups alarm, the possible ransomware activity alarm, and the suspicious incremental backup size alarm. The first two alarms, the virtual machine with no backup alarm, and the possible ransomware activity alarm are going to check the virtual environment meaning the virtual machine with no backup alarm is gonna see if your virtual machines are meeting your recovery point objectives and backups have been taken. The possible ransomware activity alarm is going to look at resource counters such as CPU usage, network transmit rate, and so on to see if any of these are behaving abnormally. The last alarm, the suspicious incremental backup size alarm, is going to monitor the data protection operations specifically the backup jobs running in your environment. We are in the Veeam One client, and as you can see here, we're in the virtual infrastructure view, and those two alarms that I mentioned previously have not been triggered in our virtual environment. But let's take a look at our data protection view. Here you can see that we have a couple different alarms that are triggered in our environment, and the suspicious incremental backup size alarm has been triggered. So what does this alarm mean? This alarm takes a look at the size of the recently created incremental restore point and sees if it's significantly different from the previously created ones. If I click on the suspicious incremental backup size alarm, this is going to take me into the alarm management view. With each alarm, you gain alarm details. This is basically what the alarm is and what the cause of the alarm could be. As you see here, for this alarm to be triggered, there are three causes of why this alarm is triggered in our environment. If I click on the alarm and click edit, I get a little bit more um, details on the alarm and I can make some adjusted adjustments as I see fit. The rules of the alarm are the rules that are going to have to occur uh, for the alarm to be triggered. These are adjustable here as well, to so you can adjust them as you see fit. These um, counters here are um, what have been predefined out of the box by Veeam One. You want to make sure you set up notifications um, so that you can get an email notifying you of this alarm and if it has been triggered. You can also set up actions. So if, I, if this alarm is triggered, I can say run this script by approval or automatically and put the path to the script in here. One of the other alarms I talked about was the possible ransomware activity alarm. So let's take a look at that. So you can see the rules of this alarm. So these are the counters that this alarm is taking a look at in our environment. A CPU usage, a data store write rate, and network transmit rate. By default, these settings have um, been set out of the box, uh, predefined, but you are able to come in here and adjust these as you see fit. You can assign this alarm, like all the other alarms, to specific parts of your virtual infrastructure. You're going to want to make sure that you set up that email notification to be notified. You can once again, you know, set up an action. If this alarm is triggered, maybe you want to turn off the machine or uh, maybe you want to remove from the network. Um, you can put that script in here. And you also have your knowledge base. So why uh, this alarm was triggered. And the last alarm was the VM with no backups alarm. And this alarm is important because if you, if a ransomware attack does occur, you want to make sure that you have a backup in place that you can restore from so you can get your data back. 
As you can see here, you can set your RPO intervals. You can assign it to a part of your virtual infrastructure, a set up notifications, and then you can also set up actions. You might notice that this alarm setting, these actions look different than the ones previously, and that's because this alarm contains predefined actions. So I can come in here and say, hey, I want to add this virtual machine to a backup job. Uh, maybe I'm going to start a Veeam zip, but I still have that option to run a script if I would like. And those are the alarms that you should be taking a look at if you want to help um, detect and respond to uh, ransomware in your environment using Veeam 1.